The Obama administration is showing signs of buckling under pressure. Despite calls for full travel bans going all the way back to July from members of government, both Republican and Democrat, President Obama has refused to impose travel restrictions of any kind from nations in Africa suffering from Ebola. As we near the midterms, the call is growing louder. But just a few short days ago, Obama doubled down on his position. We can't just cut ourselves off from West Africa, where this disease is raging. Our medical experts tell us that the best way to stop this disease is to stop it at its source. Trying to seal off an entire region of the world, if that were even possible, could actually make the situation worse. It would make it harder to move healthcare workers and supplies back and forth. Experience shows that it could also cause people in the affected region to change their travel, to evade screening, and make the disease even harder to track. Well, it seems the White House is starting to back off. Director of the Department of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, announced certain travel restrictions that the federal government is putting into place. Air passengers from Ebola-infected nations will be cut off from all but five U.S. airports. JFK, Newark, Dulles, Atlanta, and Chicago are the airports that are screening for the Ebola virus and are the only airports these travelers will be funneled into. It's not a travel ban, but any compromise from Obama is surprising and certainly out of character. Why he has dragged his feet to this point is unknown, but one thing is certain. This move is designed to ease pressure off Democrat candidates as we close in on November. Thanks for listening, and be sure to catch The Ray Warner Show and subscribe on iTunes or at TheRayWarnerShow.com. Show.com.